like the iconic Toronto skyline. Yeah, look right at that here. guy. Right there. Voila. Voila. Good morning, Good morning world. How's everyone? How are you? How did you sleep? I'm great. Well, it took me a little while to get to sleep and Those we were able to pinpoint the problem. Yeah, we had a late night cappuccino and also I had some late night munchies. <laughs> <laughs> you did. I got into some potato chips. Oh man. And also some Reese's Pieces. Yeah. So yeah. So we slept in a little bit, mm -hmm. but now we are ready to head out, start the day. The temperature is going to be much warmer than yesterday, which is always nice. Above zero as opposed to below. Yeah. Yeah. So the plan is to go in search of some breakfast. Yes. Um, hopefully a place with a patio where we can sit down and have a nice quick bite. Mm -hmm. And then we are thinking of getting on the ferry to the Toronto yes. Islands. Oh, so pumped for that. That is yeah. literally the best view of Toronto. Mm -hmm. It's quieter. There's a nice places to walk around. That's one of the things I'm looking forward to the most today, except for maybe the one activity that you've arranged the surprise activity skating yeah. skating i can't wait so, to go to skating yeah it'll be a fun day and yep. we're gonna bring you guys along so let's get going let's go eat breakfast spot just mm -hmm. like a block away from our hotel this place is called Franz and they kind of have like a diner vibe but right now we're dining outside because the Rona in our private tent we have a private tent yes. yeah so there's no heaters but like it's blocking the wind so yeah. we are pretty content to well, work here I think there is but I think because we're above zero they're not yeah. turning it on they're like you guys are Canadian enough I'm not cold. No. With no. my winter jacket, a hot cup oh, of yeah. coffee, I'm good. Huge difference from yesterday. Well, well, breakfast is served, guys. Four pieces of French toast. Well, Look well. at that. We've got maple syrup to put on top of it. We've got whipped butter. And then, of course, I got my side of maple bacon. And guys, that's a generous portion of bacon. Lots of maple syrup drizzled on top. I am in my happy place. Let's get some butter action going on here. I love French toast. That's one of my favorite breakfasts that dates back all the way to my childhood. It's just something that we would have very infrequently, just kind of like maybe a weekend kind of breakfast once a month, but something that I always really look forward to. If that's not a breakfast, I don't know what it is. And we even have sliced oranges to go with it. We're getting our fruit, getting a little fruit mixed in, huh? That is really good. Kind of fluffy and it just absorbs the syrup so well and then to add bacon on top of that that's totally a winning combination i got the chorizo hash so i've got slices of spicy chorizo a bed of hash browns with caramelized onions underneath and then i had my choice of two eggs so i got them sunny side up whole wheat toast a bit of ketchup wow, such the portions here are just amazing mm. huh oh, this is like brunch right now <laughs> yeah yeah so filling is it good? It's already buttered. Oh, mm -hmm. pre-buttered toast. Got it like that. Mm -hmm.
Well, we've been wandering for a bit. We've made it to the ferry terminal we have. also. I apologize if my lipstick is smudged all over my face. Uh, the inside of my mask, yeah. one of the downsides of wearing a mask yeah. is that you just end up looking like a clown. Yeah. So, well, distance. Maybe um, that's maybe that can be the theme day, the clown day. <laughs> clown day. It's, a, it's a clown day. Uh, yeah, but we just bought tickets to go visit Ward Island, which yep. is part of the Toronto Islands. So we're going to be crossing over in 30 minutes. It should be a nice ride. You get beautiful views of the Toronto skyline from the ferry. So exactly. that's one of the reasons there's, why you wanted to do it. There's a nice, probably a park to walk around. And what was it, like eight yeah. bucks or something like that? Yeah, I think I paid eight or nine dollars per yeah. person. So it's so affordable. Nice. It'll, and it, it's a return journey too. It's, did I buy a return journey? It must, it must be. be. I mean, they're yeah. not going to leave you stranded. We may be sleeping. We over. may end up living on Ward Island. We no, might just live there. They have to bring you back. Yeah. Two adults, valid today only. So yeah. sixteen thirty-eight. So just over eight per person. Yes. Oh. Awesome. So it'll be fun. Yeah. Like this isn't the main part of the Toronto Islands. That's yeah. closed in the winter time. We found out today. So you can only visit Ward. I believe people have some cottages yeah. there, and like you can walk around. There's a park. So we thought I, we'd check it out. I've never I'm, been to Ward. Yeah, me neither. I'm really looking forward to yeah. it. It's a, a day of exploration. Indeed. Mm -hmm. I've shrunk. I've shrunk. What happened? I think that is the most Canadian sign I have seen so far. Keep two meters apart, or about the length of a hockey stick. Sam approved. Everybody knows how big a hockey stick is in Canada. It's yeah. so funny. Even, we, even if you don't play hockey, yeah, like myself. You know, keep one hockey stick away. One hockey stick away. <laughs> get off the ferry to the left you've got this lovely little beach and the views this is like the iconic Toronto skyline yeah, look right at that here. guys right there voila. voila I want to talk about something before we even start exploring now the most fascinating thing for me wasn't even the views it was the locals bringing over their bicycles in the winter oh, time yeah, yeah in the cold little shopping cart shopping carts push carts and also almost like little wagons attached to yeah. their bicycles to do their groceries so on they the were land. and i was just thinking what a great idea mm -hmm. you go across you do your groceries on foot or on bike and then yeah. you come back come back to your cottage on the island on your island yeah, yeah. On the and, lake. You, <laughs> and you have this like this place that's quite tranquil to live and uh, yeah, just right across the water, you've got the, the downtown Toronto. Yeah. The views wow. are just so cool. Yeah, I'm just trying to imagine what it would be like to actually live here. Very fascinating life. Can you believe it? It's a completely different world over here. Yeah. I mean, not only do we have the best views of downtown Toronto, 
but we have the tranquility of being on an island that isn't scarcely populated and we're standing on a beach at the moment where there's nobody yeah there are more ducks than people there's just <laughs> us and about six or seven ducks so this is pretty amazing there's a tiny little beach here and if you look over here they set up some some really cool um, red public chairs they look a lot like the parks canada chairs oh yeah yeah classic basically cottage country chair here in Canada exactly even got the color red I'm just so thrilled to be here like this is just fascinating a city as busy as Toronto is right behind me and right now there's nobody around on this island loving it so I convinced Sam to do a little photo shoot for the gram he rarely rarely ever agrees i'm not with. a big fan of the gram guys i don't even have my own personal gram well i do but it's but been it's inactive for about four years you like the gram more than me no, that's I for sure ever post because no, you, Sam <laughs> you use the gram you're scrolling through the gram throughout the day i, I don't even it. have it i don't even have it I use on my it. Phone. I don't post, but I'll mention that we've got like three cameras between yeah. us, like on ourselves we right do. now. Two, and you're holding the big one. This is a zoom. One. And, and then I've got, got a little phone. one. But so. even with three cameras, it's so hard to be like, Sam, can you take a picture oh, of me? He's man. like, oh. Hey, it was a special occasion, so I agreed under rare circumstances. Wait, what's the special occasion? That so we're, you know, we're, all, we're actually doing something. Yeah, there's great views. That's, that's a special occasion. This is a lake, not an ocean, but you wouldn't think that with the way it's coming crashing in. Lake Ontario. Lake Ontario. It's windy today. It's fiercely so windy. We've got some nice waves happening yeah. behind us. And a nice beach area as well. Yeah. You can see that there's lifeguard duty uh, areas for the summer. And I bet this place is absolutely packed. Lots of ducks. Yeah, lots of ducks at the moment though. And in the summer, I'm sure lots of people. You know what squirrels look like? You call them mini bears, right? They're like mini black bears. <laughs> Don't you think? Yeah, not really, but... I think a squirrel looks like a mini black bear. I know that they're vicious, like if you were to... Oh, no, they're not. If you were to get up close to one, they could be vicious. Well, I mean, we, we feed squirrels in our home. Togo's so. been trying to catch one what now for what? Five years? Four years? <laughs> However long he's been alive. Hasn't, hasn't worked. Hasn't, hasn't worked work. out yet. Anyways, I just love being here. What did you think? It's so cool. Isn't it cool? It's so like artsy and eccentric. Yeah. We noticed like a lot of the people who live here are artists or yes. collectors, painters. Yeah. I mean, there's, and the houses uh, match that. You walk by yeah. the houses and you see them very fascinating decorations, some really interesting lawn ornaments. I mean, work tools outside. It's just fascinating that there's this little community, this little tranquil community, just across the water yeah. from downtown Toronto. 
and the streets in this neighborhood are like yeah. all pedestrian streets. Yes. I don't think I've noticed any vehicles. And I've also noticed a lot of locals out exercising, riding their bike. I saw someone lifting weights out in a park. I saw people walking by the beach, people walking their dogs. So yeah, a very active community here, physically active. And I'm guessing that people here probably all know each other. Yeah, like it's that small yeah, of a you place. Would, you would. It's got like this this town this town vibe right across from the biggest city in Canada. Yeah, I mean, literally. It's right pretty across. amazing. Pretty amazing. So we made it to the distillery district. First stop was food. Mexican we were hungry, food. we needed lunch. We found a Mexican restaurant with like a beautiful outdoor patio. With so, heating. With heating. Yes. So not only is it warming up, but we had heat. Yeah. <laughs> it was magical. So what did you have? I had the tacos, which yeah. were very good. Tacos al pastor. They had pineapple. They had pineapple. And what, what else Green was salsa. Thing? And, and you. I had costilla corta. So it was like ribs yes. with mole sauce, which is like a chocolate sauce. Yeah. And corn. Corn. It was very good food. It was, yeah, it was amazing. It was called the El Jefe signature dish there. Signature so, dish, yes. Yeah. So now we are just enjoying a nice stroll through the distillery district. This is the historic part of Toronto, like old Toronto. So you've got a lot of red brick buildings, old distilleries, warehouses, yes. that type of feel. Very they Christmassy have, at the moment. It is very festive right now, yeah. yeah. And they have like lots of chocolate shops, yeah. bakeries, coffee houses, restaurants. So it's a nice place to just stroll, eat, eat, shop, stroll some more. Do, yeah, repeat. Yeah, so that's <laughs> what we're doing right now. Okay guys, we came back to the room just to freshen up, rest our feet. We've been walking all day. We have been, it's great. Oh, I love it, I love it's it. It's been a little tired, it's been a little tired. <laughs> and we're gonna do more stuff on our feet. 
Okay, now. yes. So this is the special activity I booked for Sam. Mm -hmm. I gave you three different options. Do you have a hint? Um, I, think, I think we've told the people what you chose. Yeah. But the options were a virtual reality session, like yeah. a gaming session, or an axe throwing competition. Hey, I, I'm dressed for that too. You, you really I'm are. Ready. Or we could go ice skating on yeah. a rooftop in downtown Toronto yeah, and get so some cool views. I chose ice skating because mm -hmm. I love it. Um, we'll have to save the axe rowing for next time yes. because that was a very close second. Yeah, we'll have to come back and throw axes <laughs> another time. That's all I have to say. Anyways, we better get going. It's time to go yeah, ice skating. Yeah, we've got a reservation. We've yeah. got to go. Well, see ya. See ya. Now I've been good this year Make your list and check it twice I'll leave you a note right here Underneath the Christmas lights Carols and bells, none of them help I still feel blue I just wanna need a fancy watch You can give the elves a break No, you can't make it in the shop And you can't put it on your sleigh You know me so well that nobody else can do what you do Welcome, benvindo, bienvenido. Oh, what are we doing? I'm so tired. Sam's putting on a shirt. Yes, I am. And then he's going to join us. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. A shirt on top of the undershirt. Yeah. He was clothed. I, I, I did have clothes on, in case you were wondering. <laughs> but I'm not gonna cause the camera to fall. So oh. we are back in the room, we are. warm and toasty after yep. skating, a fun skating session. Oh, that was cool. I what mean, that's the coolest location I've ever gone skating for sure. Yeah. Wasn't able to accumulate much speed with that synthetic ice. Yes, but it is it was not fun. real ice, guys. No. So if you're going skating, the place is called The Porch. I found them online and yeah. you can book your skating slot for an hour. Yeah. It's about 15 bucks per person to skate. And then, if you need to, you can rent equipment for another 15 bucks. So skates and helmet. If you bring your own skates, you still need to bring your own helmet. Or they're yeah. going to charge you. Yeah, for liability reasons. Yeah. But, um, I mean, it was so cool to be getting views of the CN Tower while yeah. you're skating. And watching the lights come on. And people, as much as they were skating, they were taking shots with their phone. Like those instagram -y yes stuff. so it is very much an instagram destination in toronto mm -hmm. so if yeah. you want to get cool photos with the cn tower that's yeah. the place yeah it was really cool and so now we're back we've opened a bottle of new wine we have never tried this one yeah. from argentina magna magna and what's so cool about this one is that it's a blend of yeah. red wines that we love so it's cabernet 50 percent malbec 40 percent and 10% Shira to help Ooh. smooth it out a bit. So it's a beautiful blend. It's from, um, it's from a bodega that we've tried quite a bit, Santa Julia. Yes. But we've never tried this particular one. Yeah, it's fantastic. We've, uh, Valle de Uco. I'm actually gonna top mine Uco up here. Valley. Yeah. So yeah, what we've done is, we call the bar downstairs Teller Bar, mm -hmm. and we've ordered room service. So there yeah. is a carne pizza coming with pancetta, pepperoni, prosciutto, 
Gendio chilies, goat yep. cheese, shredded matza, extra virgin olive oh, oil. Oh, sounds so good. Boom. Boom. And it's going to be ready in about five minutes. Yes. Second boom. Boom. Second boom is the truffle fries. Mm. Fresh cut fries with Reggiano and black truffle oil. Wow. So, yeah. Yeah, and this is basically how we're ending our perfect day here in Toronto. You can go out you and know, eat. You know, we've but... been out all day. <laughs> I just feel like being cozy, yeah. having some nice food. Wine, you know what? We, out. we never watch TV, so tonight I think we're gonna continue the series we were watching last night. We were watching yeah. was like it Forged by Fire. Forged, forged by fire. fire. It's like Forge Masters building swords yeah. and having them test it out. It's true. We never watch TV, so this feels yeah. like a vacation. Turning yeah. on the TV and being like, whoa, uh, yeah. new whoa. show. Vegging, vegging in the bed, eating, yes. drinking wine, <laughs> watching TV. But to us, that's <laughs> luxurious. So. It is. Very. So it's a it's kind of the perfect way to end. Um, yeah, what we'll, we'll show you the food when it we comes. We will show you the food, and until then, Cheers. salut. Cheers. Salut. Great wine. Prost. Pizza coming in five minutes. Guys, dun 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 dun. dun. Food is here. The food has arrived. It took an hour and a half, but it's here. There we have the fries. No, I'm. Normally I'd be upset about that, but I'm actually kind of glad. But the food is so good. I feel like I've worked up more of an appetite. Pizza. It was fun just to have some wine and watch TV for a bit. Oh, you guys, I get grumpy when I'm really hungry. <laughs> and I was hungry, okay? You can't keep me waiting an hour and a half for food. But it's amazing. It's good. It's so good. It's like fries with real Parmigiano Reggiano uh -huh. on it. You've got truffle sauce to dip it in, mm. which I'm doing right now. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Oh. And the the pizza, food is so hot, thankfully. It is. And the pizza is legendary. Mm -hmm. Like this goat cheese and the different meats. I've already had a slice. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Like it was worth the wait, mm -hmm. honestly. They must have just had a lot of orders A lot today. of orders, yeah. Which mm -hmm. I'm happy to hear. Like, mm -hmm. you know what? Honestly, these times has just made me have a different perspective on things. Mm -hmm. It's like, I, I'm happy to hear the business is doing well. The food's mm -hmm. great. I can wait a bit more That's true. to get such a nice meal. I'm just thinking about myself and my stomach. Mm -hmm. This is very good. This mayo with truffles. Mm. Oh my gosh. This may be my favorite thing. This, is so, pizza. this is so delicious. Mm -hmm. so, what a great day. Mm -hmm. I, really I was... totally had, I had so much fun. Thanks for organizing this. You're welcome. This wasn't 0% uh, my initiative. No. <laughs> Sam just showed up. I just showed up and enjoyed. So this was so much fun. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yeah. And um, yeah, we'll have more content coming soon. I think we're going to start making more cooking videos at home on mm -hmm. the English channel. Mm -hmm. So yeah, anyways, that was our day in Toronto. We are finishing things off with a lovely meal. Thank you everyone for watching. Yeah. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, leave us a comment. And we'll see you again soon, guys. Uh-huh. Bye. Ciao.